Hello, my name is Vin Morgan, and I welcome this opportunity of speaking with you about digital dentistry. We have been trying to understand the capabilities and limitations of digital dentistry since the turn of the century. Although it may be easy to understand various concepts and devices as they're being explained, it is much more difficult to implement comprehensively and consistently reliable and cost-effective protocols into the daily practice of clinical and laboratory dentistry. In keeping with Bicon's decades-old motto of being simple, predictable, and profitable, we have recently introduced two new components which should facilitate your involvement with digital dentistry. The first is our digitally friendly universal abutment, whose geometric design will not only facilitate your ability to reproduce it digitally without the need for manually adjusting its virtual margins, but also enhance both your conventional and digital techniques. The second addition to our digital dentistry armamentarium is our white implant level scanning post. In this video, we shall describe and explain the capabilities and techniques for successfully using scanning posts for making digital implant level impressions. We shall also present an actual clinical case which should further enhance your understanding of digital dentistry. Bicon scan posts are available in three sizes, corresponding to the three Bicon implant well diameters. The 2 mm scan post is indicated by a singular dimple on its coronal end. The 2.5 mm scan post has two dimples, and the 3 mm post has three dimples on its coronal end. The white scan post is cone shaped, with a beveled side on its coronal end. The bevel is useful and necessary for using angled, universal, or fixed detachable abutments. The position of the bevel relative to an implant indicates the direction to which the prosthetic head of an angled abutment will be positioned. Therefore, if an implant is positioned too medially in an edentulous space, the bevel and the scan post should be positioned distally to allow for the prosthetic head portion of the abutment to be positioned distally within the edentulous space. In addition to the dimples and beveled side, there are four circumferential grooves placed two millimeters apart toward the apical end of the scan post, which are useful in approximating the position of the shoulder of a given abutment relative to the crest of the mucosa over an implant. If the first, almost apical groove appears above the mucosa, either intraorally or virtually, it indicates that metal will be seen in the final restoration unless the shoulder of the abutment is modified. The single-use scan post is inserted into the well of the implant or implant analog with only finger pressure, with its bevel side arbitrarily positioned toward the buckle, unless an angled abutment is intended to be used to displace the trajectory of the abutment head in a trajectory different from that of the implant. If this is the case, the bevel side of the scan post is positioned toward the side of the intended displacement. For any scanning procedure, it is essential that you follow the device manufacturer's instructions. Prior to starting, confirm the device's calibration. Second, warm the scanning lens for 30 seconds prior to using. Third, all surfaces should be dry to achieve the best results. Four, spray any shiny surfaces such as gold for best results. Always scan the mandibular arch first. Six, the patient's mouth should always be relaxed during scanning. Therefore, do not have the patient open maximally. Seven, Limit each scan to a thousand images or less. Eight, if the initial scan is poor, it is best to delete it and restart with a new scan. Confirm receipt of the digital file by your laboratory technician. 10, your laboratory technician must select an abutment kit specific to the scan post you used. 
Bicon's digital libraries for universal abutments and fixed detachable abutments are currently available for three-shape in dental wings software. Libraries for other providers are imminent. A complete listing of providers may be found under the lab section of the Bicon website, bicon.com. Hopefully this video will help you as you practice your digital dentistry. Thank you for having watched.